Have a look at that. What's happening guys, another episode of Cooking with Volt. I won't be doing any cooking, I won't even actually be doing any eating because it's fight week here. Uh, we're in Perth uh, and we've got the boys here from Cheap Meats uh, that are going to sort the boys out. The boys that are, are here are going to make sure they get a good feed and we're going to cook a nice tomahawk steak. So I'm going to leave it to the pros to explain what's going on and get these bad boys on the barbecues. Let's go. Good to be here, mate. Thanks for coming around. Oh, so what we're going to do, we've got this beautiful Wagyu tomahawk. And for us, the best way to cook this is going to be reverse sear. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know how to oh, do yeah, it. Yeah, reverse sear. But our awesome. favourite is, we've got to put the old uh, Frenchie's mustard on there. And then we coat it with the best, mate. This is our homemade rub. There you go. And this is what we put on all our beef. Let me smell. Mmm. Plenty of pepper. Yeah, I can see the pepper. I you love can feel it, yeah. Steaks. I love pepper on my like steaks. It. So what we do is we're going to give it a bit of a binder here for that rub to stick. So we're gonna give it a good coating of is our it, mustard. Is there one thing I was gonna ask? So, because I do see, because I, I love pepper, I always have pepper on my steaks, I see it a lot, but you do see some people that choose not to and act like you shouldn't. Please tell me that they got it wrong. Obviously, pepper is, you got salt and you got pepper, right? 100%. It's like a marriage, right? But the thing is with pepper, black pepper, it, it's got a high burning point, so it burns a lot quicker. So that's what gives it that nice crust and oh, that bark. And that's go. flavor. So that's there why we use go. pepper. So right. if you don't want to use pepper, but obviously we do. You want to do the shake? So am I doing that? Yeah, you right, can do I'm going to do something. Give, like it a, give it a good coat, mate. Right, Rub it up. Go. We've got a big, this is a two kilo. So this can handle Ooh, yeah. a good amount of spice, good amount of seasoning. You tell me if I'm you, doing too much. Just give it a good coating, mate. Looks good. How's that? Give good? it a good we color. Yep. That's it. Because when you think about it, we're going to be cutting it up. You're only going to get that thin slice of top of the rub, so yeah, it doesn't matter if it's salty or spicy. What do you reckon? Beautiful. Yeah. Give oh, it a little I'll pat down. Right. Yeah, there we go. And then we always flip it over and do the other Let's side. Do the other side then. So we like to coat all oh, yeah. the sides, everything. Because guess what? Eating on that bone, all that meat, we're going to be eating. Oh, we got just the man to eat off the bone for you. That's a, it's like a specialty that uh, the world loves to see. His old master splinter, Joe Lopez, chewing the bone. Mate, the bone has got some Not of the Craig best flavour. bone. This bone. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll get all yeah. the edges done as well. So even all, all right. the sides, we want to coat it all. All right. Ooh, so give it a good sprinkle. Pepper, baby. No. Yeah, I love pepper too. Straight to the lungs, eh? You want some on that as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, cover it, mate. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, okay. there we go. You now, that? the important thing is we've let this sit out for about 25 minutes, mm -hmm. bring it up to room temperature. Ooh, Very crucial thing about cooking good meat, you know what I mean? We don't want to cook this straight out of the fridge. So you heard that right from the pros. I always tell you it's room temperature. All right. Very important. Yeah, You're not going to get sick because it's red meat. Yeah, All right, we're going straight in the barbie, eh? Let's do it. Let's go. All right. All right, so this tomahawk is going to go on the top shelf in our pellet smoker. And what we do is we want to cook it to an internal temperature of 55 degrees. And that'll roughly take about, say, 50, 55 minutes. But we are cooking at a low temp. We're only cooking at 130 degrees Celsius. So we're not going in hot. We're going in just a mild heat. That smoke, you see, it's starting to roll over the meat already, and that's going to get nice and flavoursome. And then we are going to be coming in hot right at the end, right? So once this gets up to 55 degrees, then we're going to take it out. We're going to wrap it in oil foil. We're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to crank that little Weber up and get it hot as possible. We're going to sear it about a minute each side just to caramelise oh, and char well, it up. Yeah. So we'll that's make going to be sure good you flavor. see that later anyway. Beautiful. You so want that's to see it. That. We'll close the lid and put it to bed. It all right. And that's it. All right, now everyone can go have a beer and that's all it. that type now of stuff. I'll watch everyone drink out. beers. And... <laughs> so I'm told that we're, you know, something's about to happen. We're starting to move. Where, where are we at? Where all right, mate. So what it is, we've been about 45 minutes and we've probed it and it's sitting at 55 degrees. All right? So we've got that nice bark. Nice and cooked. So what we're gonna do is take it out. Okay. All that juice. So any oh, juice yeah, that comes exactly. out. Have it rolling up, right? It. And then go there. Don't want it. I reckon Beautiful. all up, right? Nice. I wanna make sure that goes over though. Let it sleep. There we go. You've done this before, eh? Yeah. You'd be well, good not at, not you'd as be, much on the big one. You'd be, you'd be like good at uh, wrapping Christmas presents. Yeah, so we're gonna let bad. that hang out for about 15 minutes. That's gonna like slowly come down in temperature. It's going to suck up all that juice so it stays mm. nice and tender. And in the meantime, we're going to crank up the uh, Traveller, get it hot as possible for that final sear. Coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. Have a look at that. I don't know, you can't really smell it obviously through the camera, but I'm telling you right now, oh mate, that smells good. What are we doing now? All right, so now we've, let it, we've let it sit for 15 minutes. It's had a bit of a rest. 
Now it's time for that sear. Oh, that is the best, the best part. part. It's best for you guys. Get it sizzling. Make sure you hear it. Make sure you see it. Woo, I'm excited. Let's go. So we're on the barbecue hot as possible. Oh, here we go. So now we'll let that go. But the other trick is, see all that? Yep. We don't want to waste that. We're not wasting that. Definitely either. not wasting right, that. So, so we want to tip that good. straight on the meat. That's what I always do as well. 100%. Sure. With, a, with a tomahawk steak uh, this big, obviously there's a bit of fat in there. That's one thing that I, I, I'm always making sure people understand. Like, you know, when you're cooking it, that's why slowly cooking it and all that, it's always going to be because you want to render that fat. So, yeah, uh, so because it's way good, because it's got that high fat content, we always want to render that fat. Yeah. It's not really nice eating it too rare sort of exactly. thing. Exactly, so that's for what us, a lot of people... Yeah, we I remember it. people got into me when I did it once, and uh, obviously I ended up doing a little bit more because uh, my, my, my butchers and that were like, oh, you know, you don't want it, it's very rich. That's right. And I, I was talking to my mate, he goes, he done it, it was just a bit too much. How oh, you render the fat and it goes through all the meat. That's best. right. And that's why you're always better off getting a better cut and a more expensive cut, and you're not going to sacrifice that tenderness. Yep. So, oh, there it is. I, re so I reckon a, it is. I reckon it is. You need to remember as well, this has already been rested, yeah? This has been slowly cooking, it's already been rested, now the sear. So you can chop this straight up. Pretty much, yeah. And chuck it in your gob straight That's away, it. right? And so we've already done the resting and, you know what I mean? Exactly right. Oh! Zooming in on that or what? Woo! All right, so we're going to get this off. All right, yeah, so now yeah, we're sweet. happy with the sear. Let's get it straight on that chopping board. All right, there we go. Look at that. Oh, boom, 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 boom. All right, so now we've done our sear. It's time for the favorite part. The best part. Let's go. Feel like jelly, yeah. Look at it just wobble. Oh. Just getting to the middle bit, so let's have a look at it. There we go. <laughs> Dang. How long did you get that for? An hour? Probably about an hour. So they like a lower heat, they'll cook it for like that, and then reverse sear it. So they do cook it slowly the whole time, let it rest, and then sear it right at the end. Well, because this is way good, we want to render that fat. That's why we cook a little bit more, but it's so, still going to be nice and juicy. That's why a lot of, uh, yeah, that's why some meats and stuff like that. Like, so a lot of people are, oh, I want it rare. Some meats you don't really want rare, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're just going to be very chewy, like, you know, just fat, soft, fatty. Look at that. See that? Where is it? Right there. Get on your oh. <laughs> and that's it, mate. That is a reverse here, Tomahawk. All right, mate. The bee's knees, mate. It's really good. Really good. Look, are you good? Hey, that is that is that good. Alright Joe. Go on. I mean, as if you're not gonna do that with that fucking meat, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's got to be like one of the best parts yeah. too, What's getting the all part the flavours there. That is the best part, right there. Yeah. Oh, mate. Mm. That is the cost of it. That is oh, the best yeah. right there, yeah. Who wants a turn? Who else wants a turn? Get into it. Hey? Thanks, Izzy, for backing me up. I got you, bro. Keep going. Mm. It's got like nice um, flavour on the side, even. That's the entree, boys. Entree. Yeah. Boys uh, and everyone here got into it, absolutely demolished it. Lucky we got more food for the boys, they must be hungry. But that's it, that's a wrap. I want to thank the boys at uh, Cheat Meats for doing this for us. Cooking with Volk, Volking with Volk, weight cutting with Volk, whatever you want to call it. But the pros went at it, they did a great job, everyone loved it. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Till next time, see you later.